and the Honey Bears. What is up? Welcome. Thank you guys so much for yeah, coming Yeah, man, thanks out. for having us. Yeah, of course. Uh, you can, like, tune up or whatever you need to do to go into um, the next set. I'm just curious, you know, we loaded in this morning, there was, like, some trucks in the way of us parking and all that stuff, and I feel like you guys just took it so much in stride. Does that, like, do you consider yourself patient people, or is that just, like, oh. come with the territory of doing this for so long? I think, like, the more money you make, the more the more demands you can make. Yeah, I see. But no, this is how it is, man. You know, it's it's not. I mean, this is how it is on the road. There's like, there's a lot of unexpected things that happen. Yeah, you know. So. And you just like gotta figure out how to. Yeah, I don't know, like overcome them. Yeah, you like wig out or just figure it out, or you could do both. Yeah. Do you do you feel like you've? uh, Yeah, I don't know. Just gotten more of a capacity to not wig out over the years. Yeah, probably. I don't. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Years, uh, Austin, you know? Austin people all or like collectively, obviously. We all we all live there. Oh, okay. Currently. You want to go through everybody and tell you where they're from? Yeah, no, it's fine. You, you know? don't have to Little do that. Bit. No, oh, no. Right. Yeah, if you all live in Austin, I'm just they curious do. if you. I mean, we were talking a little bit about it, but just insight on like the changes in Austin, because I know there's at least this stereotype that like you know it used to be a way, and now I don't know South by Southwest ruined it, or I don't know. It's all like yeah. noisy. Uh, you know, everybody's moving there and stuff like that. Like, do you agree with that, or do you think it's still kind of the town it used to be? Or it's definitely different, uh, but it's happening all over America. You know, like cities that. They were interesting or had like a some kind of artistic scene or a good bar scene like you know all the all the folks from money was coming around to see how we get to live and yeah. they're they like we want to do that so they move in and it, and it kind of starts turning in to where they wanted to leave sure sure so but yeah that's just how it is man you know like it's like what's the word like reverse white flight right now yes. all over the country you know so, yes yeah so then yeah. pushing like everyone else out yeah to everybody's the coming they want to come back in yeah so, totally yeah. totally so like do you feel like then most people are pushing to the outskirts of the city like people living in more rural areas outside of austin or yeah there's you know there's a bunch of little towns and stuff uh you know there's edges of town you know nobody wants to go north Nobody wants to live in uh, Wilco. Oh, okay, yeah. Is not that like band, a, but, yeah, bad? Yeah, not the band. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's just crazy. But uh, yes, yeah, I, I see a lot of people going east and south a lot. Sure. You know, but you know, like a lot of people are just sticking it out. Yeah, yeah. If you were smart enough to buy a house back, you know, dude, like, then I know, bet you're just, uh, yeah, but, just like in there forever now. Oh probably, yeah, right? yeah, it's worth some money. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for coming out. You can go to your next set All whenever right. you're ready.
watching Audio Tree Live in the studio with Black Joe Lewis and the Honey Bears. Uh, Joe, do you still read much these days? I, I just read a few bits about um, Russian literature you were oh, into. Yeah, Some yeah. dude named Maxim Gorky, who I had yeah, never, yeah. I'd never heard of until like that point. But are, are you still into that stuff? Or still yeah, I'm actually reading his uh, autobiography right now. Oh, cool. What like what attracts you to maybe him specifically, but Russian literature in general? Well, they just have like they're just so mean to each other. <laughs> What, so, like like they just evil. insult each other or well, like were, the, well the, up until a point they were like the anybody who was like the serf served them yeah okay yeah everybody who was like enslaved that was wasn't rich you know sure. to your local you know your well the czar is like the big dog but you know yeah. you got your local rich dude in every town and he you know, and he just like him. treats everyone else yeah, like they crap. walk in there they want they want to hang out with your wife they just come to your house and take them and just oh. just brutal no 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 like. Like, no love for the kids. You yeah, know, just, yeah, nothing. You know, just so, like, oh, I want your wife, it's mine now. Like, yeah, it's yeah. just like, like tough guy stories, I guess. And then, like, people steal a lot. There's a lot of, like, like thieves and stuff. I like sure. pirates, so, like... Sure, sure. Like, people would steal anything that wouldn't nail to the floor because it just wasn't nothing to, you know, to Yeah, eat, to stop you know? it from happening, and, yeah, everybody's yeah. desperate anyway. And he's got a story where he digs under the shed with this, with this prostitute to get at a loaf of bread because they're starving. Whoa. So they dug with their hands, and then they just hung out in the shed... And, like ate the loaf of bread and then kind of moved on down the road, you know, and like this dude grew up to be like a like like one of their like, you know, like they probably like, they got a lot of pride in that dude, you know, in Russia. Okay, so sure, like, yeah, yeah. He like totally came up from like as a surf and then like became like this this awesome writer. So yeah, yeah. So does it like within the autobiography? Does it show kind of like that progression of oh, yeah, getting about to that his life? Okay, you know, he cool, lived, yeah. you know, and then like. I mean, I'd go on all day, man. It was like... Uh, yeah, well, keep going. Yeah. I'd like to know more. But he's like, you know, like Tolstoy is like a popular guy. He's yeah. got like diaries. but he was like rich, right? Right, but yeah. so he didn't like him. And Chekhov's another cool guy. Chekhov and Gorky were tight. And they kind of have like these little meetings where like these smart dudes get together and talk about life or whatever. Yeah. And Tolstoy was always like bragging about like his exploits with women or like just being like... He like romanticized the, the, the surf life, you know, but he never sure. lived it, you know, so like... He's like always bragging and trying to tell him how to be, you know, that kind of guy. Yeah. And they just like, and he just kind of writes how he didn't like him, you know, and how he's kind of a loud mouth, you know. And so like, you know, there's just like, there's just, you know, it's just a different school, I guess. Yeah, definitely. And yeah, that just like open, uh, just dislike for people, I suppose. Oh, yeah, it's an interesting thing it. that's just they like just not. They fun of him behind his back and <laughs> yeah. stuff, you know, it's, it's real funny. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Right on. Uh, all right. Well, why don't you guys go into your next set?
watching Audio Tree Live. We're in the studio with Black Joe Lewis and the Honey Bears. Man, it sounds amazing in here. Thank you guys so much. Yeah. Uh, would you talk to me about fishing a little bit? Do you still get any time to fish? Or yeah. Like, did you? Yeah. I was. Uh, I took some time off because it's summertime's like really bad down there. Okay. In Texas. Yeah. So you, you mean heat wise or yeah, like yeah. busy? Wise? Okay. Yeah. They don't bite, yeah. and then it's just. Oh yeah. It's like hundred degrees out. Okay. So. Sure. When I get back from this, I'm definitely busting the boat back out. And, yeah. You know, most I mostly catch bass. Okay, cool. I've been trying to get good at catching other stuff, being able to target what I want. And, uh, yeah. But, you know, down there, we don't, we really don't have that many different types of fish. Fresh water, like up here, y'all got a lot of yeah, definitely. different things to yeah, catch. Yeah, lots. But, uh, yeah. But, yeah, it's cool, man. We go out there and hang out and just catch the fish. Yeah. And, are, you, you know. are you like a crankbait guy? Or when you're looking for bass, like uh, what are you using? You know, my, lately my best thing's been the topwater little cigar. Yeah, and yeah. The snake. Oh, okay. Yeah. I watch it on YouTube. And okay. <laughs> walk the dog, they call it. And uh, those are real fun because they come out, you get to see them hit it. That's you know? the thing, when they smack it, like anything yeah. topwater is yeah. fun because they hit it at such a high awesome. rate awesome. of speed. Yeah, like, they, I they take it. Yeah. And I started smashing my all my uh, my barbs down and stuff, trying to be like nicer to the fish. Yeah, <laughs> not get Stay. deep in their throat yeah, like, yeah, and yeah. rip out their insides to yeah, free I'll them. The, I quit using like the treble hooks and okay. stuff like that. Okay, sure. But, yeah, yeah. Yeah, do you have any like, I don't know, big fish stories? Like any, like, yeah, anything you're proud of that you caught? I went out one day and I caught like eight or nine fish in one day, like you know, you know, within like three hours. Oh yeah, that was my best day ever. Definitely. Yeah, it was all bass. Okay, cool. And then, uh, is are you always doing catch and release, or do you ever you ever take them with you and like uh, make anything nice? I'll try everything at least once. Okay. Like, yeah. I don't keep the bass no more. I keep crappie. Yeah. That's oh, what I, I want to start catching. It. Yes. You know. But I kind of suck at it, so. <laughs> yeah, no, that's it. Well, that's what you got to work on, yeah. yeah. Panfish is, makes really good, like, really good food. <laughs> Down there, you know, like, up here, you got, like, walleye. Yes. Trout and perch, and like, anything in that world yeah. works so well. Yeah, y'all can tear up some stuff up here. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yeah. I used to I used to occasionally go. My dad works, well, used to work for a company that makes, like, Berkeley and Trilene products. Like, if you're familiar with any of that stuff, doesn't matter. Yeah. But we used to go up to Canada every once in a while. Okay. And, you know, you can snag, like, because they've been catching release for so much longer. Yeah. You can catch, like, massive, massive fish because, uh -huh. you know, like, the only people that can keep them are the natives. Okay. And then everybody else is, it's like, a really strict window of space. Uh, what am I trying to say? In the length of the fish or yeah, like yeah. the weight of the fish that you can yeah. keep because they're too small, too big. In all the lakes. But yeah, in all the lakes. Oh, okay. So, yeah, yeah, it's I really they nice. They got big natural lakes up there too. Yes, exactly. Yeah. But yeah, I'd recommend that uh, yeah. at some point, you know, just right across. You guys are going to Canada, right? We Aren't actually came out of there. Oh, yeah, okay. We saw some yeah. stuff, but we didn't, Mike Mike likes to fish and he was talking about bringing a pole and neither one of us did because. Yeah. I brought it before, and I, never, I probably like, maybe used it once. Totally, and it's that big long tube that's and in your van, hitting you in the another, back of the in head a new all area the time. Where I don't know like what they eat, yes. you know, like what they like True. to hit, you know. So I won't. It's gonna be like a trial run, you know. Yeah, it's gonna be many but, failures with yeah. like a possible success. Yeah, yeah. So there's always that. But yeah. Well, thanks for sharing. Time. Yeah, next time, yeah. exactly. Um, cool. Uh, you can go into the last one. I will say that you can get Black Joe Lewis's new album, The Difference Between Me and You, which is out now, and they're on tour through October 22nd. Um, so check them out.
Joe Lewis and the Honey Bears. You can get the newest release, The Difference Between Me and You, which is out now, and the band's on tour through October 22nd. They're playing The Empty Bottle tonight, so if you're in or around the Chicago area, check them out. Thank you so much for performing for us. Yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah. Thanks to awesome people in the studio and sound engineers, camera and lighting crew for making it look beautiful. Cue on the Crowdcaster. Thank you, viewers, for watching. You can support the band by downloading or streaming the session when it comes out in a couple of weeks, and send a shout by social media to us or the band if you just want to connect. From all of us here at the Audio Tree Studios, thanks for tuning in. Goodbye. All right, so you guys want to do it for real now?